right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think it provides context in this case to say that the protagonist of this particular song is a woman, and uh, this song is fucking awesome. Nice. Wow. County Road 233 under my feet Ain't nothing on this road but a little old me I got two miles till he makes bail And if I'm right, we're headed straight to hell Cause I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun Wait on the porch and light a cigarette He wants to fight, well now he's got one He ain't seen me crazy yet Slap my face and then he shook me like a rat Another six pack in. You can hear him come like a whole five wind. Oh, he pulls in the drive and the grapple flies. Oh, but he don't know it's waiting here this time. Cause I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun. Wait on the porch and light up a cigarette. He wants a fight, well, now he's got one. He ain't seen me crazy. responsibility and applying that idea to household chores. Yeah. <laughs> We're kids building models of a world that we might want to live in. We're sorting feelings in our stomach. Is this liberation or starvation? But have we made it anywhere at all if the dishes are never done? We can't live without dishwashers. How would we live without cops? And so you're asking me, who does the dishes after the revolution? Well, I do my own dishes now. I'll do my own dishes then. You know it's always the ones who don't. Who asked that fucking question? <laughs> so I don't believe in God, but I'm also not an atheist. <laughs> you know the universe is chaos, but chaos plays favorites. And you know lately I've been thinking about how I love Jesus Because Jesus, he was a dirty homeless Hippie peace activist And he said, drop out the fun God To anybody who would listen While turning water into space bags Turning water into space Partly, and this one is about the last one that we had. <laughs> so I dip this pen in arsenic to write song for every president that won't ever get shot in the face. I wrap these strings in plastic explosives and head down to 
the courthouse with the one court I level the place so but hasn't anybody learned don't ever trust a man who plays guitar the day I rob a bank the first day I'm not lying to you or me about what I believe Doing heroin will seem easy as pissing On that day, I'll stop talking so much shit about the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician or on a prison warden Urine speaks louder than words Well, millions get locked in a cage and riots break out in Oakland. But urine speaks louder than words on a prison warden or on a bark policeman. Urine speaks louder than words. headphones too so the audio is a little weird in my hear uh, in my ears oh fucking hey there we go all right you know what hang on there we go that feels better hey tech support oh good news everyone oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> i feel anything but that caleb but thank you thank you thank you um Oh, fuck me. Oh, can kind of sort of breathe again. Oh, the sinuses are clearing up. Fucking, I had my stupid doctor's appointment today. It's uh, fucking my sexual health doctor. Let's call them that. Um, but only it isn't the guy that I've had for years and years and years and years who I trust my life with. Um, um, it was his stupid physician's assistant. And I don't like her. She's 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 new. I I by new. I've been with this guy for years, years. I've I've outlived office managers and front desk staff and nurses and fucking like seriously. Like I've seen them come and go. And 
you know, it's like, you know, I've, I've been here before you, I'll probably be here after you sort of situation. But my deal with her is she infantilizes everything. Everything. And it's, it's one, it's kind of creepy when she does it. It's creepy. Like, she, she looks at me and she goes, oh, I've never, I, I've never asked you. It's like, do you sleep with boys or girls? I'm like, homie, men, men. I sleep with men, men. Don't, don't get this fucking weird. Don't make this weird. And she's like, I need to ask you, does anything ever go in your bum? Because if it does, I need to get you a, a special kind of test. Bitch, do you mean am I the receptive anal partner? Use your fucking words. Use your fucking words. We're both adults in this room, and supposedly you're supposed to, you're a, a medical professional. You claim to have a degree, though I have my doubts. Right? Like it's it's always fucking it's always shit like that with her. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fucking <laughs> chicken lady. Um, yeah, it's shit like that. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is, this is fucking, this is a doctor that handles like high end sexual health and infectious disease. And you know, it's like, what? Do I look like I need speaking down to? Uh, Oh no, one of those people. I'd lose my shit rapidly, said Caleb. Yeah. Dude, I can't stand that shit. Every time I see her, she just annoys the fuck out of me. Like, like Jesus Christ. But, you know, are you sure? Bitch, I'm not embarrassed. You know, like, if I was taking it up the ass right now, I'd fucking tell you I'm taking it up the ass. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, we not uncomfortable with this topic, unlike you seem to be. Like, you know, yeah, it's, it's offensive, it's obnoxious, and it's counterproductive. Like, every time I see her, she annoys the fuck out of me. Um. Oh, yeah, I, I, I just, you know, so that's, that's one of the things I had to get done today at, like, 11.45 a.m. Jesus goddamn Christ. I, my sleep is shot for today, so, like, we'll do two bad movies at most, and I may pass the fuck out during one of them. We shall see. Um, but, oh, uh, I did, like, right at the top, want to talk about a headline. Good news, everyone! It's not good news. It's not good news. Good news, everyone! Um... The Floridians, like, uh, as of, like, August of last year, have started, like, first case. First case. First case. Um, a family, um, like, kicked the shit out of this dude's fucking... All right, so they're fucking, like, 20-something... 20 20-some 20 kids... 20-something uh, kid is super gay. Super gay. Um, he's super fucking gay. Like, you take one look at the fucking photo and you're like, oh yeah, he's one of us. For sure. For sure. Um, so this happened in August of last year. So a little bit before the Don't Say Gay, but definitely part of the run up of fucking the, the, in, in that part of the world about fucking queers are coming to take your kids. You know, that shit. All right. So one of their kids is fucking gay as shit. He starts banging this old, uh, this older dude. It, it, like he's got the key to his apartment. Like they're boyfriends. They're boyfriends. They're boyfriends. They're boyfriends. So the fucking parents and the other the other brother find out that the uh, the dude is a queer, and basically hold the kid hostage. And I say kid again, twenty something, twenty something I, I, again. You know, but. He, um, they basically hold him hostage and make him call his boyfriend and like, you know, give the, give the address and sort of the thing like that. So they show up at his fucking house and they, um, they kick the ever loving fuck out of him and blind him. Uh, and, and the, to prove his heterosexuality, the fucking boyfriend participated because he was so freaked out by his parents. I guarantee it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. To prove, to prove himself to his fucking family, they showed up and they, they tried to murder him straight up. For, for making their son gay, by the way. That's, that's, that's the issue is the, the, they, they, he turned this, this old faggot turned, turned their son queer. Yeah. 
yeah, that's that's because that's how these geniuses absolutely think about homosexuality. Yeah. Uh, the the McCarran costs of some shit, these fucking families name. Yeah. So that shit's hot already happening. Um, let me see if I can't get you a, a fucking... Um, somebody had uh, somebody had a Miami Herald link. Let me grab the Miami Herald link for it. Uh, thanks for the follow, Tash. There's the Miami Herald link. All right. Uh, copy image address. Why is this only two out of? Uh, why is this only four? I can count. I can count. Why is this only three out of the four? This photo is missing the the older brother. Don't know why. The Miami Herald picture is missing the older brother. There's, so there's one missing out of this picture. But uh, in the middle, um, you will find um, Ole. Ole? Ole? O-L-E-H. Either way. Um, so Mama on the left, Papa on the right, and they're not at all gay son. <clears throat> Pookie. Pookie. He's playing for our team. He's playing for our team. Um, so, yeah. It, it, uh, Pompano Beach, and it's literally described as like a forbidden relationship. It's like that shit. But, yeah. Arrest uh, warrants issued. Fucking, uh, they had to round up the older brother from like Alabama. Some shit like that. It was an out of, uh, out of state. Like, he came in from out of state to kick the queer's ass. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. That he was he was left on the floor uh, to die for thirteen hours. He just bloodied and fucking blinded, and absolutely just worked the fuck over. Um, it is pure happenstance that he was found. By the way, it is pure happenstance. Um, apparently, deputies were in the complex, and this dude's like door was just like like open, and there was a pool of fucking blood there. And so, like, the deputies just walked by and, like, should we do something actually today? So they did something. They actually did something that day. Um, but, yeah, pure happenstance. Fucking, they absolutely, like, they tried to murder this dude. They tried to murder him. But uh, according to him, he laid down and played dead. I know, right? It's, it, you know, broken clock twice a day sort of situation, you know? Fucking, um, but yeah, it, it's, this is, you can only, you can only use this talking point for so long, um, before people start dying. This, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is what got me kicked off the air. This is what got me suspended. This is got, this is what got me my suspension was talking about this. Like there's, there's only so much that will happen that you can do this there's only so much of this that can happen before people start dying you can't be running around talking about how all the fucking the uh, everybody gay is a fucking groomer and being gay is contagious and they're turning your kids gay and shit like that before some fucking homophobic pieces of shit find out that their kid has some boyfriend and they try and murder the boyfriend oh wait it just happened just like last year. Like, that, it's, it's already happening. So, yeah. You can smell the glitter through that straight boy's picks. Yeah, it, it's... Dude, the whole case is fucked. The whole case is fucked. You're just like, yeah, that's exactly what I expected to happen. Stochastic terrorism can end up with some Oklahoma City and Dr. Taylor shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, I mean, there's an argument to be made that the fucking um, Pulse nightclub was Oklahoma City level shit, right? I mean, it's not fucking an entire building with a bomb, but it was an entire building with a fucking, you know, gun. Um, solid on my side. Buffer's okay over here with her. Um... So, like, yeah, you know, there's, there's only, like, there's an argument to be made here that, uh, 
And the shepherd lynching wasn't even that long ago, dude. I s- fucking Matt. Yeah. Dude. Um... The only thing that popped into my head was Castle Doctrine, stand your ground. He wasn't, he should have been strapped. He should have been strapped. (laughs) If he had been strapped, drop him. He wouldn't have pulled the trigger though because the kid was there. His boyfriend was there. He wouldn't have done it. He would have hesitated. I I, I, I just, as somebody who's taught those classes, I'll tell you right now. He'd have looked down the sights, seen the fucking, seen the boyfriend. He wouldn't have pulled the trigger. Um, but yeah, he should have been fucking strapped. He should have opened that door. They should have charged at him. He should have fucking pulled back, dropped to the back foot, fucking drawn down and just dropped a couple. Shot to incapacitate because my, my life, I, I was in fear of my life officer. I shot to incapacitate. It's that simple. This, 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 this is this is this is the real shit. Like this is the real shit we used to teach in our our schools. You never say X, Y, or Z. You, I was in fear of my life, and I shot to incapacitate. Nothing further. Attorney. That's it. That's all you say. If you're ever involved in a shooting in America, I was in fear of my life. I shot to incapacitate. I will uh, I will be speaking no further uh, uh, further officer. Until I speak to my attorney, he should have fallen back and just dropped him. That's dude. That's the whole purpose, dude. They charged into his apartment and tried to murder him for being gay. Well, for turning their son queer, supposedly. Ah, uh, so yeah, that was the first thing that popped in my head. Was he, dude? LGBT needs to just all own guns at this point. You just all need to own guns. If, if you're if you're queer, get to a fucking range. It, it, it is what it is. You need you have a right to self defense just as much as anybody else. <sighs> um, H H. Um, no. Okay, here's your beginner's tips. I'll do it before before the stream gets too big. All right. Um. Just start. Just start. Your first podcast will suck. Your first your first story will suck. Your first stream will suck. Your first X, Y, and Z will suck, right? Just start. Just do it. That's, that's, it, it sounds contrite. It sounds like I'm, you know, it sounds dismissive of various concerns. It sounds blah, 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 blah. No, there really is. There, there is but do. Um, the aesthetics don't really matter. Make sure your audio is clean. You got to make sure you have clean audio. Um, people will suffer through bad video. People will not suffer through bad audio. Um, so make sure your audio is clean, but just start, just start doing your thing. Um, after a while, you'll get a, you'll get a patter down. You'll, uh, you'll start, you know, you'll start feeling, you'll start feel like you have your feet under you and you know what you're doing and you're comfortable. If you've got any theater background, even better. Then it won't even matter. You won't even have that period of, like, break in where you're like, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable or not. Big fucking deal. So, yeah, that's that's my only two real recommendations for you is, one, make sure you have clean audio, and two, just do. Just do. Do it with reliability and regularity. That people have to know that you're going to be there at a certain time, certain day, a certain release schedule like if you just release content randomly and just stream randomly people aren't gonna it's difficult for people to connect with that so there's my three tips for you that's about all i uh, i can uh, i can spend on that one is you know clean audio fucking just start clean audio and do it with some some level of reliability and regularity there you go uh everything else you're just gonna have to figure out for yourself what you want to do, what, you know, all that sort of stuff is up to you, but, um, cool. 
Oh, we got a bunch of cop stories. I don't have them collated, so we're not going to do uh, Popo's Bizarre Adventure, but we will resume Popo's Bizarre Adventure on Monday. Um, we've got a lot of cop stories backed up. I'm going to fucking trim them. We'll see. We'll see what we end up with. We may end up with another fucking three hours of Popo's Bizarre Adventures on Monday. Plus, I need to trim. I need to do some video editing. I'm behind on my video editing. I need to get the stuff, the content from this week uploaded. I need to get last night's uh, tier list trimmed out and uploaded as well um so we need to do i need to i have a few things that i need to do um yeah all right so yeah good on you uh you have stage comedy experience that'll that'll come in handy uh, uh i don't know what your politics are hh and i mean you know they could be antithetical to mine and I could be helping the, the perceived enemy in this moment. But I'll tell you right now, um, it, depending on the degree and level of your, your comedy experience on stage, you're probably already well equipped to deal with trolls. Two reactions. Don't give them a reaction or make them a joke. That's, that's super useful tools. If you can make them a joke, or if you can just fucking not feed them. That's how you deal with that. Either way. Um, <laughs> my work is talking about a range day for team building. I work at a bakery, says Weasel. Nice. Dude, it's it's actually a fun time. Going shooting is fun. Oh, and Joe Biden's diaper. Thank you for the follow. Again. These people think, I, I, I don't, you know. You have a marked ban evader account and you're telling the mod who's trying to engage you in conversation to pipe down. I can't wait to see how this plays out. And in case you're wondering, my mod team is autonomous. They do their own thing. Did you just admit you're banned? No, no. <laughs> Luddite, hypocritical Luddite, no. No, the cunt isn't in jail yet. Uh, the replacement will cease um, as talks to the cops. The energy. Dude, I didn't even notice his stupid fucking name. The replacement will cease. Holy shit, you... Let me guess. The white, the great white replacement. Are you, are you, are you worried about the whites being displaced? Is that is that is that actually what your name is about? Because that's goddamn adorable. Uh. Redo that mount. Uh, leftists kill the most per capita. You got any uh, s uh, sources on that? No, you don't. Uh, so I'm doing my work. I'm going to cost this sentence. Refused to unpack my own mental health. Gray said she had help. Killing Robert Gray from Clarence Good, Gray's cousin and boy. Good luck, Marcus. Good luck. Good luck. You have no idea how to carry out an abortion either. Cool. You know, the only um, passage in the Bible um, uh, that references abortion actually gives instructions on how to do one. 
it's the the parable or tale of the bitter water. It tells a priest uh, uh, a priest how to conduct an abortion. Yeah, it's the only time abortions ever mentioned in the entirety of the Bible is how to do one. Yeah, Jesus was Jesus was a big fan. I mean, he was you know pro female healthcare. Except for HH, uh, uh, fucking that HH bothers the fuck out of me. Politics. I gotta tell you, what what's the HH about? I gotta ask because you're gonna get hit with it a lot. What's the HH? Because that's some eight eight shit. Like, it's super sus. That 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 HH is super sus. Especially in fucking leftist spaces. Yeah, HH is not a good name for a political streamer. It's not a good name choice. All we're all any of us are thinking is Heil Hitler. Yeah, dude, dude all any of us are thinking is Heil Hitler. Yeah. So has holes, obviously, says Wither. Um, it just means they're a big fan of Hilton hotels. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, there we go. Buffer rate drop. Um, it, yeah, it screams 14 words loudly. Like you may want to, yeah, yeah. You may, you may want to consider, you may want to reconsider a rebrand. You may want to consider a rebrand before even starting. That's, dude, that's a rough name. You, there's so many people that are going to be hesitant. They're like, does that mean Heil Hitler? What's up, Crimson? <laughs> Oi, I'm right here. Dude, Crimson, you fucking, some people put it together, some people don't on you. Fucking, uh, hang on. What do I got? I'm gonna kick you in the has holes. Pocket has. This pocket has. Pocket has. Yeah, dude, it's, it's one of those things. It's, it's gonna pop up on you. So, heads up. Don't let me don't let me dictate it for you, right? Like, I, I want the word radical back from all the idiot fucking right wingers that are like radical leftists like Hillary Clinton. It's like you don't even know what radical fucking means, let alone leftist, let alone what Hillary Clinton's space on a fucking spectrum, a political spectrum, uh, which space on a political spectrum is she occupies. So go fuck yourself, right? Like I, I, I get fighting for a fucking name, trust me, but that's probably not a hill you want to die on. Um, yeah. What's wrong with eating babies? Fucking Hillary eats babies. So? They're tasty. Yeah. Get that adrenochrome. You crack them right at the spine like a fucking Pez dispenser. And you get that adrenochrome. You get fucking, um, you get um, Christopher Reeve's superpowers. That's how you, that's how you become Superman. Mm-hmm. It's 100% true. I saw it on a, I think I saw it on a documentary one time. Uh, a couple of documentarians. They've been around for a while. Um, the Matt, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Anyway, I don't know. They're like Louis Thoreau or something. They do documentary work. Pretty good, pretty good documentary work, actually. And I remember seeing it on one of their documentaries that that's, that's in fact what you do is you, you get like a, a, a baby fetus and you fucking crack it right there at the, the base of the, the skull and you fucking suck that, suck that juice out. And that's where all the adrenochrome and stem cells and shit are. And that's how you get, su- uh, that's how you get leftist superpowers. Yeah. It's totally, totally a true fact. That's, that's one of the things that you have to do um, when after uh, it's, it's after you sacrifice the goat to George Soros. It's one of the steps. It's one of the steps. Yeah, dude. Po- uh, politics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, hey, you know, welcome. We'll, we'll, we'll workshop for you. I'm 
I'm literally quoting a South Park episode, you dummy. I straight up am quoting Matt Matt and Trey from South Park. This is this is literally a South Park episode, you dummy. It's not even Q. This isn't some Q shit. This is straight up a South Park episode. Holy fuck. Completely oblivious. Hey there, song. His mommy doesn't let him watch that leftist garbage. Oh. Can we keep this one? He's funny as fuck says Caleb. Uh, we'll keep him for a little bit. Uh. People, a lot of people talk a lot of shit. It's getting, <laughs> you gotta tell you, good old George is getting ready with the goats. It's getting hard to meet the quotas. You think someone with a name that references the great old Heisman theory is gonna understand satire? No, I don't. Sweet. No, I don't. No, I, I, I don't think that the idiot who has the great replacement theory name reference is going to understand satire. No, I, I really don't. But, you know, it's always funny to point out that they missed a clear and obvious reference to South Park. Even I, I even called the documentarians by their names. <laughs> Trey Parker and Matt Stone. You know, the creators and writers of South Park. They're kind of famous. But, again... Yes, sweet. I understand. Um, obliviousness sort of comes with the territory. Suddenly I'm less embarrassed as I shit. And hey, don't worry about it. Is he criticizing me for talking now? Pookie. Pookie. I prefer the documentary on Mormonism. They did. <laughs> oh, Joseph Smith, you fucking con man and a half. Oh. oh, what's the um, what's the unit of measurement for shit? Curics? It's named after Katie Couric, right? Curics? I think it's Curics. Um, so like, I wonder, I wonder how many Curics this fucker is. Um. Yeah. Tech tech it's tech support. It's we've already asked. It's it's it, he literally a person just getting into like political streaming had no idea the reference. No idea. Yeah, we 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 already were like, homie, you need to not like we were giving beginners tips and shit. We're like, wait, what's the HH about, my man? <laughs> it's it's not what you think it is. <laughs> we've we've recommended against it. <laughs> Uh, I saw a video of a particular hippie crying a lot. You were in it. Can uh, can you shout out the other person who was talking? I have no idea who the fuck you're talking about, Rain Stopper. No idea. Um. Wow, the streamer won't stop talking. I mean, yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> I mean, we could just... You guys, you just guys want to have like a silent five minutes or something? We just want to chill out for a bit and fuck it. We'll just all sit here quietly. I'll turn the music off and we can just sit here in silence. Like, um, oh God, I don't think anybody's here from the old Podbean days that would understand that reference. Um, but yeah. Brilliant. 100% <laughs> in my settings, fixing it live. <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, no tech support. We got an answer. Um, it was, I don't know, here, hang on. I'll get you an answer, tech support. It was, it was up a ways. Um, horse hockey. It's a depression, a depression era of reference. Horse hockey. I believe it means bullshit, right? That's horse hockey. Uh, Adam, you can't, but you can send one of the mods. Um, you can send uh, a whisper to one of the mods. My, my whispers remain closed. One of the mods will tell you to send it to them. <clears throat> and it'll find its way to me from there. Yeah, it means horse shit. Yeah. So... 
you know, there, there, there's, there's your explanation, tech support. It's, it's, it's actually, it's actually bullshit politics, or horseshit politics. But you, you've been, you've been so poisoned. Your psyche has been so poisoned. Um, you, you cynical, cynical fuck. Don't worry, we were right there with you. You cynical fuck. You're so poisoned by by you, this, the toxins of the political scene that you couldn't see past. <laughs> you can't change it for a month. <laughs> uh, just a new account. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, good on you. Good on you, check support. Uh... Night, night, Joe. Take care of yourself. Sleep well. Good luck with your, your woodworking projects and all of that sort of things. Um, Um, well, a lot of dude, no, it fucking, especially in political spheres. Nah. Ah, oh, good luck. Good luck, Joe. Yeah. Oh, I know you. Okay. AJ Young comic. I know that name. I know that name. Y yeah, you, um... <laughs> good, good name choice. <laughs> you may just want to spin up an all-new one. <laughs> just start from scratch, man. Oh. Oh. So... Hey, Gemma. I'm still not working out the way I need to work out. Um, that will start tomorrow. Ideally. Tomorrow is going to be another full body. Um, nice. Good on you. Good on you, AJ. Um, yeah, tomorrow will be a full body. I'll wake up and do that. Um, no. Stream dreamers. No. One, they're not debates. As somebody who was like, I did actual debate, speech and debate, mock trial, constitutional issues. I even did teen court. No. No, I do not. I see them as counterproductive. I see them not only as counterproductive, but all they are is ego programs. They're, they're, they're designed to drive engagement for their primary channel. It's advertising. That's all those are is advertising. It's it's perform it's performative work in order to drive traffic on their primary channel. So, you know, I don't I, I try not to feed into the drama cycle. I try not to like participate in the drama cycle. Uh, occasionally, somebody tries to drag me in, kicking and screaming, and I just don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I've never been on a hippy dippy. I've never been on a fucking. Prime K's have never been on a fucking whatever. I, I, I don't participate in those. Um, I'm kind of almost known for it at this point. But I just absolutely refuse. They're all grifter fucks. They're all grifter fucks. That's... Yeah. Uh... Oh, geez. Yeah, AJ, do that. Fucking just do a set. Just do, work out some bits. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, AJ, yeah, work out, just work out some bits that you like, you know, hey, I got some stage time. Just see it as, uh, just see it as, uh, uh, some fucking free stage time. You're like, oh, it's open mic. <laughs> see what you can get done. It's actually, why not? You can see, do some, do some crowd work. Hey, 
See, and that's see that's you 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 know that that's the that's the grift right there. He's, but he's a stage comic. He gets it, right? Like that's that's the that's the grift right there. Uh, Hmm. On contacts. There we go. Uh, what do we got? Domestic extremist related killings in the U.S. by perpetrator affiliation. Right wing all movements, 75%. Uh, left wing, 4%. Domestic Islamist extremism, 20%. And then other ex miscellaneous extremism, 1%. Uh, source, uh, well, it's the ADL. Mm. Prefer a better source. Uh, uh, Gemma, the recap is basically, it's, it's mostly, um, DeSantis is going to war with Disney, which is goofy as fuck. Um, and, um, Marjorie Taylor Greene perjured herself live on TV. Whether anything will happen about it, probably not. She's white. She's conservative. She's, you know, yeah. But married to a fucking kitty fucking... Dude, he exposed himself to, like... Her husband exposed himself to, like, what? Four teenage girls or some shit like that? Either way. She's married to a sexual offender. Like, sexless sexual offender. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, she's out there screaming about fucking groomers and shit. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene basically perjured herself live on TV. Um, and so that's, that's like a big part of our news cycle right now. No, that Bobert, Bobert is the one with the, 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 the kitty diddler fucking husband. Okay. It's so difficult to keep them straight. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. let's see. <laughs> Green is the one fucking the Zangief LARPer. Ah, thank you, Carpe. See, Carpe knows how to speak to me, what references I need to, to jog the memory. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh, she literally said, no, I didn't say that. And then the guy said, let's see exhibit five. And she's like, no, wait, hold on. Seriously, she, she's no, wait, hold on. Now, no, wait, now, wait a minute. Ho you hold on. Like, it was some shit like that. Like, she straight up perjured herself. Um, oh, god damn. Oh, that was whatever the fuck that was. Um. Let's see. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, if, if uh, Havana Syndrome, I know, the CIA's got me targeted with a ray gun. Um, hey, Puka. Uh, Walata, I mean, there's an argument. I mean, um, there's definitely an argument to be made that the Islamic terrorism on that fucking chart is right-wing terrorism. It's just the only difference is is that, like, the, the origin of it. Yeah. Kai is old and falling apart at the cellular level. Like, that's aging, motherfucker. That's aging. Um, and you see fucking Dan Price just done fucked everything up. Fucking dumbass retard that he is, I swear to God. Um, fucking super useful to the labor movement. This moron's out there fucking apparently pulling a Bill Cosby. He's fucking drugging and raping people. Not kidding you. Uh, so, yeah, the dude who, like, set the minimum salaries to $70,000 a year, yeah, he's got two fourth-degree assault charges and is under investigation for felony rape of a drugged victim. Um, so, you know, that. Uh, is that even illegal? Hold on. Mm, not the damn price thing. I mean, obviously that isn't.
I'm pretty sure DeSantis just like shot Florida in the foot. <laughs> billion dollar tax bill, a billion dollar debt being added to the balance sheet because uh, DeSantis is in a fucking fight with Disney. Not over some LGBT shit, by the way. I've seen the timeline on this. They, they, Disney refused to um, hook him up with some more um, funds. That's, that's actually the fight between DeSantis and Disney, by the way. Like, if you weren't aware of that, Disney didn't contribute to his fucking political campaign. His, like, slush fund. Um, he was all for Disney, like, two years ago when they were contributing to his political sl slush fund. But when they stopped contributing to his political slush fund, the next fucking week he's out there talking shit about Disney. Be grooming kids and shit. Yeah, it's what this is about. Is the, They just didn't give him the kickback. So he's, he's like literally in a fight with Disney over a couple of bucks. And it looks like it's going to cost, uh, cost the taxpayers a billion dollars. I'm not kidding you. That's the, that's the debt that will be added to the balance sheet for the management, maintenance, and upkeep that Disney handles themselves. So like, yeah. I, these fucks are just, they're just grifter fucks. Little Trump is on brand. Yeah, only a billion could be worse. Um, I, dude, I've seen the same thing kicked around, Chicken Lady, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, Disney has been distinctly silent on it. And, you know, fuck both these groups. Fuck Disney. F fuck DeSantis. If both of them can draw blood on each other, I'm all for it. Just can we take keep the uh, the um, you know collateral damage to a minimum? Oh, let's see. What else? What else? Hmm. Santa thinks he's freaking mafia and demands protection money, so his taxpayers pay the consequences. Uh, sounds about right wing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's it fucking is what it is at this point. Um, hey, that'll be a nice one. That'll be a nice one for the fucking co uh, for Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Oh, that's a great headline. Oh, that's a great headline. I'm just going to tease it. Grocery store calls police and says a young white male has shop shoplifted from the store. Cops show up, stand at the entrance, letting dozens of white people into the store without stopping them. 60-year-old black man tries to enter. They accuse him of being the shoplifter and detain him. Just nothing racist about U.S. policing whatsoever. Nothing racist about uh, U.S. policing. Yep, cop's gonna cop. It is what it is. Oh, uh, that'll be a good story. <laughs> uh. Mm. Uh, and you see, um, Tesla setting up company uh, company towns in um, Shanghai. Tesla is building a closed loop system. It essentially means that the fa the workers will be sleeping in the factory. Um, the 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 employees get mattresses on the floors, meals, and a sixty three day dollar a day stipend. Yeah. Tesla, Tesla is literally building company towns and not even like a proper company town. They're just like, yeah, we'll just fucking make them live at the factory. <laughs> I can imagine, Adam, what it looks like. So, yeah, we're already there. Yeah, company hostel, company prison. Oh, did you guys see? We got the examples from Florida. Hey, nonsense. We got the examples from Florida for the math books. 
They released some examples of what got those uh, that list of math books fucking canceled. So we know now. How was your stream nonsense? What'd you guys get up to? From Emerald Mines to actual gulags. Yeah. Uh, they're not leaving the state. They put, do they put way too much into that facility? They're not leaving the state. Watching the Johnny Depp trial bit while I'm making stuff. Oh, that trial's a, it is a thing, isn't it? Um,. So let me get you, um, they posted four pages there we go. Uh, copy image address. Here's one of the examples. This, 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 this got a math book. This got a, this got a, this got canceled. Okay. This is, this is, this is Florida's line in the sand. So, you know. Essentially what people have been finding is that there's really no, even, um, even like any, even remotely critical, like critical race theory going on. Like you're not even mildly related um what you're finding is just prohibited topic and this is uh social emotional learning um oh <laughs> uh. Yeah. I I mean Yeah, they don't want functioning human beings, Caboose. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. It kind of is Scooby, isn't it? It kind of feels Scooby-ish. Oh, a little bit, Wither. A little bit. It, it does feel a little Scooby-Doo-ish. Okay, here's here's some examples they released directly. All right, here's here's again. This is this is what. <laughs> I, <sighs> um, this is that 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 screenshot. That I, I couldn't tell you. That screenshot is literally released by the Depart of Florida Department of Education as an example of like why math students were. Students identify numbers from one to five in sequence, understanding that each successive number name is referring to an amount that is one larger. Student identifies the next successive number to five when counting by stating the number. To cultivate con conversation and out uh, optimize output, ELs will uh, participate in MLRA discussion supports. SEL objective, students build proficiency with social awareness as, uh, as they practice with empathizing with classmates. This, this is the big bag boogeyman. This is the shit they released. This is Florida on the defensive. This is, this is Florida saying... This is unacceptable content. Okay? This is this is per their own fucking release. I, I don't I I I fucking, you know, I don't know Crimson. I don't know. 
Florida, why are you even? Because meth plus gators equals Florida. Goddamn empathy, the scourge of self-interest. It really is, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> How? I mean, here's another example. I think this is just because this is a fucking little black girl. I I honestly I can't figure this one out. Look, I can't figure any of them out, frankly. This one, I, I don't even, this one I at least get the like, oh shit, a black person who did something, right? Like this is negative ex exponents. And then just a little aside about a black person who fucking, you know, is one of the most badass mathematicians to ever grace the halls of NASA. And uh, I do believe Dorothy has an entire building named after her now uh, in her honor. Um, like, I at least I'm like, I, I see what they're scared about here. They're like, ah, a black person who's better at something than us. You know, adding two plus two. Dor uh, Dorothy Vaughn was a fucking human calculator. Her calculations got us to the fucking moon. Um, so, you know. Yeah, yes, Caboose. <laughs> as, 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 yeah, yeah, that's... At least... Uh... See if I can. This is some of her work. I know this doesn't mean much to some people, but to others, this is, yeah, dude, that's, that's the woman that got us to the fucking moon, you know, <laughs> that's, without her, it, it might be a different story entirely. And there's, that's not under, that's not overstating her, her contribution. Yeah, she was a, she was a badass. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not too terribly surprised. Um, so Greg Abbott locked down the Texas border and did a secondary inspection because the federal government wasn't doing enough. So he shut down the border for 10 days doing this secondary inspection. He cost the U.S. GDP $9 billion. He cost Texas alone $4.5 billion. But, 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 th th that's that's just the, the, that's the sort of temporary um, 
negative impact upon the economy that one has to pay for the security because clearly he shut down this this border rampant with drug smuggling and human smuggling and all of these horrible ills that are flooding and pouring across our border. So what we really should be doing is sort of a, 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 a return on investment calculation here. How many human smugglers did he catch how many how many hundreds of kilos of cocaine and methamphetamine did he fucking grab you know did did his his upstanding fucking troopers pull off of those uh trucks all those trucks that the the the, the lackadaisical u.s border patrol was just letting pour through that permeable border none yeah zero literally zero none not a one not a one not a single thing they got some like broken taillights. They got like a couple of hundred like broken taillights and headlights and shit like that. Literally no contraband. Not a single, single, single thing. Not even a fucking like a, a fucking a, a cannabis seed lodged up under somebody's catalytic converter from driving past something and it kicks it up from the road surface and it just sticks up there in some muck up in the uh, the wheel well. Not a single fucking thing. Nothing. He shut down the fucking Texas border effectively for 10 days, cost the U.S. $9 billion in trade, cost his own state $4.5 billion in fucking in GDP uh, effect, and finds literally nothing. He'll count it as a win, and those, those morons that follow him and Trump will count it as a win as well. Not a thing. Nothing. It's a very clever smuggling operation. Um, it's not that clever. He announced he was doing it. It's not a... It's not a clever operation. If you walk up to a fucking dude in the street and you're like, I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm, I'm winding up. I'm going to punch you in the face. Are you ready? I'm going to punch you in the face. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm punching you in the face. Right? If you've got a billion dollar smuggling operation, if you're a Mexican cartel, we're shutting down this border. We're going to have checkpoints here, here, and here. Or we're going to investigate every single one of these vehicles that comes through. Okay. So we're shipping over there now. It was absolutely stupid. It was just asinine security theater for the purposes of security theater for the purposes of manipulating fucking rubber heads. It's that simple. Like, just smooth brain fucking rubber heads. Like, that's it. That's all it was. It was security theater to manipulate conservative idiots. Like, he's, he's tough on the fucking... He's tough on this fucking illegal immigrants that are fucking crossing our border nonstop. They're bringing the plague. They fucking coordinate with ta the Taliban. And fucking... Yeah. That's it. It's just propaganda manipulate fucking smooth brain idiots. So... You know. It only cost a few billion dollars. I'm Bob Black now. I mean, I'm not as much of an asshole as Bob, but I'll take it. Bob's a good theorist. Yeah, Bob's a good theorist. I'll take that. <laughs> Taliban makes some pretty good diesel. No, I don't mean petroleum. Um... <laughs> AJ, uh, yeah, dude, my, my fucking stepfather's is full on psychopathic fascist at this point. N no, he, he, anybody younger than him should not be allowed to vote. Anybody who pays less taxes than him should never be allowed to vote. He doesn't, he believes citizen, uh, citizenship should be revocable based on, uh, crimes that he sort of arbitrarily decides. Keep in mind, this man was a judge. Um, yeah, my, my stepfather's like straight up, like he's crossed the fucking border on that one. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, you should fucking hear him. You should hear him with his fucking idiot friends. Um, ooh, hang on. Is that a message I've been waiting for? It is. Pardon me. Your stepdad and my stepdad should go bowling sometime. They get along great, says Scott Punk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Revoke my citizenship for me so I don't have to pay 20K for it. Sign me up, says Tech Support. Oh. Anyway, all right, let's see. Oh, um, Erdogan is promising more attacks on uh, Rojava. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Erdogan is saying he's going to double down on his fucking attacks, too. Here's what it is. Ooh. Um, let's see. Oh, um, South Korea. Welcome to 2022. Of course, I say this as an American while we're trying to roll back fucking love be Virginia. Um, the Supreme, um, the South, uh, hey, Squee, um, uh, fucking the South Korean Supreme Court ruled that uh, consensual sex between gay soldiers out of the mil out of military is not a crime. Consensual sex between gay soldiers in military is still a crime though. They maintain it's a readiness issue. But it's like they 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 blame HIV AIDS and maintain it's a readiness issue. But at least they've ruled that sodomy outside of the military is fine. So, uh, no, no, it isn't cupcake. It isn't. No. Also, I'm not sure if they consider like banging lady boys. I'm not sure if they consider that one way or the other that that region gets weird sometimes i i don't i don't know what to tell you <laughs> oh let's see hmm we did that one last night <laughs> yeah i might tie some punch on a passenger um Cool. <sighs> Alright, beast, I don't know either. I don't know what squee. What's up? I I I I prefer Mike Tyson not punch anybody, anybody else. Uh, punch anyone else like just keep your nose clean Mike 
Ah, uh, you finally got a job. Doing what, Squee? Congratulations. What? No, not in the military. He's not going back in the goddamn military. Not with his fucking drug use now. <laughs> he fucking, he couldn't pass the piss test. I, I bet Squee couldn't pass the fucking piss test. So. You work in an augmented VR space. Good on you, Squee. Good on you. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot more wholesome. It's a lot more wholesome. No, I, it wasn't his fight, uh, fault, Zippy. I agree with that. But also, you know, given his past track record, it would be best if Mike, Mike Tyson isn't punching people. Let somebody else hire security and, like, you know, fucking, or contact the air marshal. Get them to punch somebody. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's fine, Squee. Yeah, I'll give it a look. Um... I know there's a lot of people that'd be just happy, just perfectly happy to be like, I got punched by Mike Tyson. Uh, oh, geez. Well, Zippy, that's like half of our late night audience right there. Uh, uh, So apparently five Russian enlist, enlistment, uh, enlistment offices have been hit by arson attacks. Monday. Since Monday. Um, I don't have anything more than that, really. All right. How terrible. Oh, yeah, this one. This one. This one needed talking about. So. <laughs> I know, right, God Punk? Just, I, just, you know. I'd be, I, I kind of, I'd be weird, but I'd be like, I'm proud of you, man. Like as a human being, I'm proud of you. Like that's all I'd want to say to Mike Tyson, right? Like, dude, he had a sketchy start. There's, dude, he was not a good person, but he kind of changed his shit around. He got his shit together. Like the, the, the restorative process worked on him. Like it, it, it he, he's not seemingly nowhere near the same human being he was when he was a raping maniac right like that's that's a success story like that's 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 some like Robert Downey Jr. shit that you're like that's a good thing that's a good thing I wish he wasn't the fucking face of a, just an evil empire of fucking franchise media but you know yeah um, so, um, Alabama, <laughs> Alabama, 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 okay. <sighs> Alabama is refusing. Okay. So like adoption agencies in Alabama are, um, allowed to make decisions. Right. Um, and the, if you ha if you display a lack of religious faith, it's a deal breaker. And so an Alabama couple is trying to essentially get traction, file a suit, get laws in place and changed if they can, because they're not religious. They're just not religious. They're just not, that's, that's, that's just not, they're just not religious. And so nobody will let them adopt. They're not gay. They're just a normal, you know, white heterosexual couple, but they're not, they're not evangelicals. They're not quiverfuls. 
they're not Bible thumping Christians. And so, yeah, nobody's letting them fucking adopt. And so they're just, they're, tr- <laughs> here's one of the quotes. Here's one of the quotes. I'm sorry, we could not work with you. We're not specific about one's faith, but the biological families we work with do request that our adoptive families have a spiritual life. In cases, this is, this is on the record, one of them. In, in the cases that we've found in 36 years, our mothers come to us asking that the adoptive families have a belief system. In other words, Wyatt was saying she doesn't have anything against atheists, but the birth mothers almost always look for a religious home, in her opinion. So it's not worth vetting a couple and putting them on their list if they lack a religious faith. Um, Carpe, I feel you, man. I feel you. Uh, one of the people they spoke to, uh, unsure whether her agency would facilitate an adoption for a birth mother who expressed a preference for non-religious home. So in her 36 years of doing this, this adopt woman running this adoption agency that they were speaking to in this instance, no birth mother. The, all the birth mothers express a desire for, you know, the, the, the placement home to be a religious, to have a belief system and have a faith. Would you work with a birth mother who specified they would prefer the child go to a non-religious home? No. Interesting. Yeah. Funny how that works. Uh, can we just get rid of all of this stupid bullshit? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your Bible doesn't impact me. You can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. I don't give a shit. If you want to believe that you can walk on water or fucking you can piss miracles or your underwear is magic or whatever the fuck you want to believe that your stupid book says that you can do. I don't care. I don't care. You don't get to dictate my life with your stupid magic book. Right? Like, it's just fucking stupid at this point. This is, this is the equivalent of some Harry Potter LARPing shit. Fast forward 500 years and we got a fucking motherfuckers running around acting like Harry Potter's real and shit and that you need to live your life by the guidelines set forth by the pro, the prophet fucking, whatever her fucking cunty name is. I don't even remember. Rowling. There you go. The great prophet JK has spoken. All hail Potter or some shit like that, right? Like, this is some fucking LARPy ass shit. The book is full of nonsense. The book is full of bullshit. You don't get to tell me how to live my life based on your goofy ass ideas. It's just how it works. You can live your life by as many goofy ass ideas as you want. You don't get to come across the aisle and tell me to. Fuck off. Squee, I'm glad that you're officially a non-drinker in your house as well. Good on you, Squee. 
And I got you. I got your. I got your DM. Oh, can we make, at least make Pratchett a profit? Might actually get to read the word in that way. Um, how's utopia politics? My granddad says I'm looking for utopia every time we talk politics. You know what? May I make a suggestion, AJ, since you're asking? Utopianism has a negative connotation. Impossible politics. This is done ironically, okay? Demanding the impossible, right? This, this is, oh, anarchism is impossible. Here's a history of the impossible that's abbreviated and not even a total global, global history, right? Marshall uses that very much ironically and satirically that it's like, oh, it's impossible politics. So much for impossible, right? I, I, if you're leaning towards something like utopian politics or utopia politics, go for impossible politics. Less, less explanation up front, right? There's, there's less, uh, less information download right up front. Utopia people don't necessarily know what utopia is. They, they, they sort of understand that it's like some like you know, a uh, Garden of Eden scenario, but they don't really know much about utopianism and the flaws and foibles therein. Um, it is a great book, uh, Got Punk. It is. Um, and so, yeah, I, I would, I would suggest something like impossible politics. Um, Gospel of Times. Good, buy good boots if you can, dude. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It is. It's. It's. It's a solid book. Um. Uh, Punk. It's. It's my like. If you really want to learn something about anarchism, book. Pick it up. It's a lot of fucking work, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Um. Just that's if we're in the blue. Uh. Fuck it. Yeah. Um. AJ, if we're in the blue skies period, you know we're brainstorming. No wrong ideas. No wrong ideas. Right. If we're still in the blue skies period of brainstorming, then yeah. I. I my. My pitch would be for something like impossible politics. I. I think that's a. A. Clever name in a few different ways, if I say so myself. Um. What do I got up here? Um, oh, hey, our boy, um, uh, our, our white replacement theory idiot lost his account, it seems like. <sighs> looks, looks like he's um, got some sort of temp pull on it. Happens to the best of them, you know. Another one shot down before his prime. Yeah. Oh, no. Anyways. <laughs> AJ, not only is impossible politics not taken at all, but the verification code was the last three digits were 666. So I'm moving in that right, in the right direction. Rock on, man. Happy to help. Oh, I'll be, fi <laughs> I'll be filing a, a prior art copyright notice on it as soon as you, you make something of it. <laughs> it's all yours, man. Oh... Uh... Most of the truly life-changing positive changes have become uh, law in Western Western society were originally conceived by anarchists. Yeah, no. Oh God, Gemma, you the most cursed shit. Um, where was it? It was fucking. I'm pretty sure. Hold on, it was on that fucking work reform <laughs> shit show. Hold on. Yes. Oh, are you ready to get angry? Are you ready to get angry? Gem a few people will, but Gemma, you're gonna get you fucking. Uh, this is just this is specifically for you, Gemma. But this is this is gonna piss a few people off. This is gonna piss a few people off. Know that this is came this came from that stupid work reform 
Um, that's just the fucking neolibs who took over anti-work. It was the liberals. Libs steal everything. They do. Dude, they fucking do. They're fucking like the Ferengi or some shit up in this bitch. Yeah. Dude, this is... This this made a fucking rounds. Um, I saw it on the front page of All at one point, 15 hours ago. It got 26,000 upvotes. And fucking... The oh yeah, you know you know what? Fucking a bunch of the ones that were call a bunch of the comment threads that were calling them out and saying bullshit, liberals didn't do shit. This is the fucking anarchists, this is the communists, this is the socialists, this is the fucking the proper left. Dude, they got purged. They're fucking they they got like nuked. The fucking entire comment chains get removed. Oh, they left at least a couple in here. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. A, a couple, a couple cupcake, a couple pointed out that like, uh, those aren't liberal ideas. Those are socialist ideas. Like, that's just not like because they're fucking uh, because re, uh, re, uh, work reform is a fucking lib sub. Dude, that's, that's literally the, the neolibs taking over the anti-work movement. And they took over the anti-work subreddit. But then they decided that the, the anti-work was too extreme. And then they needed different messaging. And what it really is about is about reforms of work. Not understanding the origin of anti-work. So yeah, it's, it's fucking libs, man. It's shit libs. You cannot trust them. They will steal everything even if it's nailed down. Yeah, Gemma, good luck with that. Good fucking luck with that. Um, let's see. Okay, so here's the thing. I know a lot of people speculate, and I've held off, but I finally saw a clip of Putin where you can see the, the, the hand and leg tremors. People have been talking about Putin not being well, like the facial edema, uh, the facial swelling is a result of potential steroid uh, application for, you know, who knows what. People have been kicking around fucking, uh, fucking Parkinson's and MS and stroke and blah, 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 right? But I've held off on a lot of that just because... Um, I have yet to see something that I was like, oh, for sure, right? I finally saw a clip. This is a nine second clip where you can clearly see hand and leg tremors. Like this isn't, this isn't some like, oh, he walks with a gun shit. This isn't, he's got KGB training. So he burns excess energy by tapping his foot situation. It, it, it's, yeah, like I'll let you see for yourself. It's, it's quick, but it's like a nine second clip. But we'll play it a couple of times. I want you to see it. I, I again, I don't get into this, the like, speculation about world leaders' health, other than probably not well. And this was this is, this is one of those things. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go over this a couple of times. So keep an eye on the keep an eye on the hand first. Okay. He, there's, there's an excess movement there when he brings it up and he pins it to his fucking chest. So it stops moving. Right? And then, and then you watch the leg after the arm. Right leg, right leg. 
that's not a stable walk. And you can see the shakiness in that right leg. It's a little jittery, the hip movement. Why do you care with her? Because when a guy's got his finger on a fucking nuclear button and he's in charge of an invading army and can destabilize entire regions and he's got shit like Parkinson's or MS or some sort of degenerative end of life illness, that's shit that matters. Okay, Reagan had that shit in office. Reagan had Alzheimer's in office. He almost killed all of the gay people in this country. Why should you care? Because powerful people who have degenerative neurological conditions can do a lot of fucking damage. They, especially if they're a dictator and they're in the dictator trap right then. Dude, that's, that's sketchy shit. They, there's there's a variety of processes, like psychological processes that play into somebody who's got degener degenerative chronic conditions. And especially when you're, you're a fucking dictator on top of that. Yeah, it fucking matters. It matters that Putin may have Parkinson's. <laughs> he's, he's as stable and drunk as Yeltsin. Um... I used to work for a man with Parkinson's who had deep brain stimulation implants and looked very similar to Parkinson's movements uh, I'm familiar with. <laughs> Rex, he's got a thing. Um, I knew a guy who had the exact same symptoms, had to help carry him out. Yeah. Um, here, one more time, just so you can sort of see. Pins it. Hip, leg. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He doesn't, that's the first clip I've seen where I'm like, okay, okay, I buy it. I buy it. He's, something's going on there. That's hemisphere, uh, welcome impossible politics. Um, Gemma, uh, uh, um, uh, unihemisph unihemispheric, uh, DTs. Like that's, it's, it's like unilateral DTs. No, unless you're just fucking around. Um, but yeah, unilateral DTs is not a thing like that. That was isolated to his right side. I, I did see him Bob Dole the desk. Um, yeah, yeah. The mile long fucking desk <sighs> uh, yeah I worked with a, a elders as a nurse aide in assisted living I saw a lot of those those types of body movements yeah I, I that was the first clip where I was like okay you've got my attention now um <laughs> It, well, that's the thing. Stroke has been kicked around as well, Gemma. Um, cancer, stroke, Parkinson's, MS, um, and then all of the other stuff that like, yeah, he's got KGB training and he's got fucking evasion training and he's got like, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff. He's, you know, he keeps his gun on that side. Like he walks a certain way because he carries that gun, that particular location. Like he stays strapped. Like they just fucking, he doesn't give you, he's, he's paranoid. Um, as any dictator should be, frankly. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, there could be even a long con. Fuck Enzo. Like, they're, they're, you know, it, but something's going on. Something's going on there. Yeah. Oof. Hey, Jay, that's rough. The handshake, he looks like Parkinson's. The leg walking thing felt like a stroke. As a caboose beast. Apparently, he was a data analyst in the KGB. Haven't dug deep enough to verify that. Yeah, there's been mixed stories about what the fuck he did. Dude, that's been kicked around as well, Gemma. Exposure to nerve agent, exposure to poison. That he potentially survived a poison attempt. There's, there's been a bunch of speculation. That's why I haven't, I haven't touched it. You may be memeing, but like all these are fucking things that have been kicked around. Um, yeah. 
but that was the first clip. Like I said, that's the first clip I saw that I was like, you know what? That's actually credible. That's not, that's not him sitting at a table. That's not him trying to burn excess energy with his right foot as the, cause the KGB, t that is a KGB tactic that is actually knowingly taught is how to burn excess, like nervous energy, um, during an interrogation using your you know using a, a foot of your choice and so he does do that um he does do like a whole bunch of like manipulation tactics on a regular basis they're his baseline um so like all of that has to be taken into account like and so it's very difficult to get a baseline read on putin but that shit is that's the first time that i've seen something i'm like that's something that's not some training that's not some weirdness that's just that's that looks like Parkinson's. Uh, I when is that clip from? Um, it looked like he was meeting from with like the Belarus guy, right? Uh, Don't know. Don't know. I don't, have, I don't have an answer for you. Sorry. Paranoid Russian dictator and he invades the Ukraine. Let me get some old newspapers as I know how this story ends. Yeah, the round face swelling, the pinkness is very much medical steroids. Yeah, that's that. The edema is very much steroid territory. People have been speculating about that. They're like, dude, that's that's facial edema. Um, by, by a lot of accounts, it looks like he's losing weight. Like he's losing muscle mass in his legs. You could see his calves pretty clearly in that, um, when he was sitting there gripping the table, like a fucking madman. Um, you could see his calves in that picture and you're like, he's been losing, he's been losing some muscle mass too. Could just be inactivity due to the war, etc., etc., etc. Again, it's all pure speculation. It's all pure speculation. Um... But something's going on there. That's not normal. Long term medical steroids cause permanent shakes, maybe now showing. Hey. Speaking about speaking of shit, we um, <laughs> oh maybe Sir Scribble got revenge. Jesus, um, Russia's biggest chemical plant uh, burned down in a second mysterious fire in a day. Apparently, um, the Dmitrievsk uh, chemical plant in the city of Kanishma, um, it's 250 miles east of Moscow. <laughs> Um, largest chemical manufacturer, uh, largest manufacturer of chemical solvents in the country. Um, but it burned the same day that the, um, top secret Russian defense plant burned as well. <laughs> Not so top secret anymore. Uh, four military scientists were forced out of, uh, forced to jump out of windows from the burning institute at Tver, 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 Tver. I don't fucking know. Uh, they developed space, uh, space and uh, new space and weapon systems, um, and so like yeah, that's here. Let's see. Here's the the defense ministry facility that was on fire. All right. That's that's not good color smoke, by the way. Uh, in case you're in case you're wondering. It's definitely not the way to go. Um, and then here is the um, chemical plant. <laughs> so, yeah, same day. Same day, their largest chemical plant and um, one of their like top secret military, uh, you know, development facilities 
<laughs> Black smoke. That's the new Pope smoke. Um, so <laughs> shit just burning randomly in Russia. Oh, uh, whenever that happens, I always look at fucking Israel. They're really good at sneaking in and destroying shit. So are we. Oh, oh yes, this one. This one. Um, decline all. So for those who will be wanting it, I'll, I'll put the link in chat. Here's the long and short of it. 52% of gay men hold a, hold a bachelor's degree higher than the 35% national average. They also earn higher GPAs, enrolled in harder, harder classes, and took school more seriously. The, the long and short of it is, is that gay men excel in academia and education. If you're gay, if you are a gay man in America, there is a, a higher probability that you are um, more educated and better well off financially. It, it, it is being a gay male in America is a predictor for positive net positive outcomes now. Yep. Hashtag gay supremacy. Um, there's actually a couple of possibilities, Karina. Um, there's also the possibility that the lower educated, more rural uh, gays don't factor into the study because they don't come out of the closet due to socio uh, socioeconomic factors at play in their area. So there are potential biases that are, you know, intersectionalities that are not investigated in that study that could balance the numbers. We don't know. But the fact that I'm willing to accept and acknowledge that potential limitation up front probably indicative of something um, but don't know Jenna don't know it's causal though it's causal being gay makes you smarter clearly this is automatic Everybody knows that. <laughs> yes, Zippy, that's on that's how it works. Yeah, it's hundred percent how it works. Um, dude, Netflix is shooting itself in the foot, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I had to explain. That explains why I had to drop out of college due to low performance. It says caboose, caboose. Suck a dick, get an A. It's that simple. See, you, you like you're flipping through your like you know advanced human biology or anatomy book or whatever it was, right? And you're like, I don't understand this. Why can't I grasp this? You should just turn around and suck your roommate's dick right then and there. You turn back and you'd be like, Oh my god, I understand all of this now. It's sucking dick is like an instant twenty IQ boost. It's true. It's facts. That's science. That's that's just science. I, I, I can't. What are you going to do? Argue with science? Dude, that's just a fact. It's a science fact. Sucking dick makes you 20 IQ points smarter. Hmm? It's true. Night, weasel. Take care of yourself. I've heard of it. I wonder what a gay Ashkenazi IQ would be. The next Einstein. Um, <laughs> give head to expand your head.
<laughs> Boost walks up to my professor. So about the C you gave me. Starts seductively unzipping my pants and my coat. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry, Caleb. It's not exactly a heterosexual activity, Glazy. Sucking sucking dick as a as a man is not exactly a heterosexual activity. I'm not in that camp. I'm not in that camp, dude. Contrapoints in that crew can go fuck themselves with that one, right? You can oh you can have all the sex you want with a same sex partner. That doesn't make you homosexual. Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of, it kind of does, right? Like I'm not in that camp. Asexuals can be sluts too and have all the sex they want. No, no, that's not how those words work, right? Like, I mean, no, <laughs> no. You know, after you look, I'll 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 give you a grace of a few dicks, right? Like I'll give you, you. Everybody has some like wiggle room for experimentation and figuring yourself out. I'll give you, I'll give you a few dicks. That's that's fine. But after you make a habit of it, like if you have a grinder account, congratulations, you're gay. Like that's that's just automatic at that point. Like. Yeah. <laughs> After a bag of dicks, you just like dick. Exactly. Am I going to play the TikTok? I, I don't, I don't know. No, I don't know what you're even talking about. Oh, hey, virgin whores are valid. No, they aren't. <sighs> so I've seen so many questions on Quora. They're like, I'm a straight guy, but I like sucking dick, which is interesting. It's like, no, you're bi. I'm a straight guy, but I like sucking dick. You're bisexual. We have words for these. Yeah. Maybe you're not romantically attracted to, but you're, there's, it's not, sucking dick as a dude isn't straight behavior. That's not heterosexual behavior. That's bisexual behavior at most. Um, but you don't have a grinder account, Kai, therefore you're not gay. Oh, minor, minor, way worse. <laughs> than grinder <laughs> mine are way worse than grinder um speaking of hang on give me one sec uh, <laughs> hey there public give me one sec i'm i'm putting in the work Um, <sighs> all right, sorry. Uh, um, what if it's my own dick? That's just masturbation. If you're just sucking your own dick, that's just masturbation. Oh yeah, the guy, uh, the guy, yeah, sucking dick does. Fuck oh, God, that's fucking that video. Uh, God, that guy was so gay. Uh. 
Um. Okay. Tech support. I tried male, male, female threesome once. It was weird. My dick just wilted wherever the, whatever the other guy was more actively involved. I'm pretty sure I'm out of that side of the alphabet mafia says tech support. Oh, uh, sorry, tech support. Um, I, dude, I'll, I'll fucking, I fessed up to this one the other night on, uh, on a VC. Um, I'm so fucking far into the, the fetish scene at this point in my life that, um, a dude came by and just wanted me to drop one in him after somebody else did. Couldn't get the job done. Um, it just was too, it was too vanilla. Like I know for some people that would be like the, the definition of kink. Right? Sloppy seconds, fucking cream pie, like shit like that, right? Like for me, it was just like, whatever. I've been that dude plenty of times over. I've been like, it just didn't do it. I was like, you know, I mean, I threw it in him, but it wasn't working for me. So, yeah. What would for many be something? For me, it was just like, eh. But. I said before, like I said on the call, I was like, yeah, you know, the dude and I stay in touch. We joke about it. We actually, you know, we, we, we laugh about it. God damn it. Bear with me. Oh, let's see what we got. What are you just bounding a hole in the wall? Yeah. Hey, 69. Um, that's their problem with her being a bit sore from being in the same position for too long. That's just stress positions. That's just being in a stress position. That's their problem. Um, have I ever had someone saying stupid shit during sex that turned me off? Not during sex. No. But I've had people say stupid shit. Um, that I'm like, holy... I, I, there's one dude in particular in my mind. Met him through a friend. And he walks in and my first thoughts are like, he's cute. I'm going to try and get into his pants. By partway into the evening, I was like, this dude's ugly. He just said, kept saying stupid shit after stupid shit after stupid shit after stupid shit after stupid shit. And by that point, I was like, they just, they got ugly. No, not the clothing ritual, dude. <laughs> Canadian collar, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh Yeah, I, um, 
It's amazing how an annoying personality can completely wreck a pretty face. It is. Yeah, funny how people get ugly like that. Yeah, I, 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 it was, it, it was sort of a formative moment for me. I remember it so clearly. That I was like, I'm getting old. If I had been younger, I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have cared. I just like need get dick wet. Need get dick wet. Nope. It was it was a formative moment for me. I'm like, holy shit, this dude actually is ruining it for me. <laughs> uh Jesus Christ, tankies being anti-Semitic again. Who would have guessed? Hmm. They are a piece of work. Another victim of not <laughs> shut the fuck up Friday. Oh, man. He sh I mean, you know. Whatever. No big deal at the end of the day. Jesus goddamn Christ. Teen charged in a 151 mile per hour crash that killed six posted an Instagram video of himself racing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Anybody want to guess where he's from? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Oh. Uh. He's been charged in the deaths of six people. He posted, oh my God, new court documents reveal he posted himself racing at 182 miles per hour in his BMW on social media two weeks prior. Formally charged six counts of vehicular homicide. It killed six farm employees working in the Delray Beach, Palm Beach County fucking area. Farm employees in Florida. You know they were like El Salvadorian fucking migrant workers and shit like that, right? There's no fucking way they weren't. Jesus fucking Christ. He struck the back of a Nissan Rogue at 151 miles per hour. He was 17 at the time. He's, he's facing down five, uh, six counts of second degree felonies, each punishable by 15 years in prison. And they can be, uh, they can be stacked. They can be consecutive. Jesus. It crushed the rear of the Nissan forward several feet well into the passenger compartment. The blow was so forceful the Nissan rotated into the center median and started flipping and rolling over before coming to a final rest upside down within the center median. Five of the six occupants of the car were declared dead at the scene immediately. The six died on uh, uh, at the medical center upon arrival. Oh, yeah. Now, here are their names. Uh, Mirlaine Innocent Julius, uh, Ramirez Michel, uh, Marie Michel Louis, uh, Michelle Lucent, uh, Philain Dio, and Venice Pristina. Okay, so Hispanic and probably like French Creole. Like we've got some Caribbean thing going on here. So. He struck the car. <clears throat> yeah, Haitian maybe. Um, he struck the car at 151 miles per hour. Anybody want to guess what the other what the other car was going at? What the road speed was? <laughs> Beast was first there. The 
car was going at 38 miles an hour, just over the 35 speed limit. He hit it at 151. He was going 151 miles an hour in a 35. And he hit a car. You might as well just hit a fucking wall. <laughs> he entered a plea of not guilty uh, to all charges. They're going to argue it. Um, AJ, how many of y'all are old enough to remember the Washington snipers? Um, he survived. Glazy. I mean, I'm sure he pulled injuries, but he survived. In his booking photo, he looks relatively unscathed, to be perfectly honest. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, so the reason I bring that up is because AJ said I had a stepdad who always said he'd never be in a car crash. He was too aware. How do you see 150 plus mile per hour coming? That's what it re reminded me of, was the Washington snipers. Um, because... That held the entire country hostage. Dude, they were firing at distance. You'd just be walking down the street and just dead. You're pumping gas, the gas station. Dead. It just, they just reached out and touched. And nobody, you didn't even, you just blinked out. Not knowing how your life even ended. And that's, that, that gripped entire regions in this entire country to a certain extent. It was, it was bad. Yeah, beast. Yeah, all it takes is a millisecond. Um, I played shows in the area during that, says God. Yeah, dude, that, that was, dude, that fucking... Uh, Zippy. Um, nice. Uh, Zippy, Periwinkle. Periwinkle. I want, I want to see Periwinkle on you. Um, nice. Funny number. Uh, whether um, we knew where it was coming from at the strip, the 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 Las Vegas shooting, um, the Las Vegas Country Music Festival shooting here, we they they identified immediately like where the fire was coming from. Pretty much, they're like it's coming from up there. You could the Washington snipers. Nobody knew for like the better part of what a month, twenty three days. They held this fucking country hostage, like entire portions of, especially in the Washington, uh, Washington D.C. area. Um, nobody knew. Nobody knew where the shot came from. They, they had a. Um, I'll get you a picture here. Um, So they they blacked out the trunk. They sound it. They cut a hole 
for the optics and the uh, and the, the bullet. And they would park the car and they would fire out of the back of the trunk through that hole. Or the one was, because the Washington Sniper, it's a huge thing. I'm not going to get into it for those that weren't alive for it. But basically, it's a dude who brainwashed a kid and trained him to be a fucking murder machine. That's that's the long and short of it. Um, yeah, it was, dude, they, they, you just didn't know. You just, gas station and dead. You'd just be walking down the street, dead. Picking up your groceries, dead. Yeah. I forget how many they got. Yeah, it was 17 people, says Marcus. Yeah, it was in and around the Washington, D.C. area, Gemma, but it started somewhere else because they had practice runs. Also, I'm in the camp that the guy, it wasn't a, a pointless, and 10 people injured, um, it wasn't a pointless spree. I'm in the camp, the guy was planning on mixing his ex-wife into the list. I'm in that camp. I still think the plan was not just some like disaffected fucking nut job. I think it, like he probably had Gulf War syndrome too, by the way, just so everybody's aware. He probably had Gulf War syndrome. But um, I think he planned on putting his ex-wife in the list. So he buried her in just a list of like serial killings. Yeah, got punk. I agree. Yeah, no, I, I'm in that camp. I think that was the plan all along and he just got caught in, in, in advance. Like they got, he got caught before the full list was executed. Yeah, I've always thought that. That like, dude, that was the plan was to kill the ex-wife too, and he just didn't get around to it. Did South Park do a rendition of that event? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know so. Um, yes, uh, yes, there were two of them. One was a, a mil U.S. military trained sniper um, who had Gulf War syndrome, um, who had a whole bunch of PTSD issues, who had like, uh, there was a lot of drama surrounding him, his wife, his kids. He stole the kids and fucked off to Jamaica. The State Department got involved, took the kids, like, got the local authorities, took the kids from him and said, you kidnapped your fucking kids, like, when you were in shared custody situation. Like, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're losing your kids, right? Like, that's just by default. Um, and so, yeah, like, he was forging papers in Jamaica. Like, that's how he was getting by. Um, he was forging documents for people. And some woman... Um, had him forge her documents to sneak into the U.S. And the plan was she couldn't afford the next set of documents for her son, but she'd come to the U.S. and work. And she left her son with him. And the son had come from an abusive household as well. And so he was constantly seeking out a father figure. And so, yeah, it, it was like this perfect storm of, like, psychopathy. And, like, he got his kids taken away, and that sort of, like, pushed him even further over the edge with the Gulf War Syndrome stuff. Um, and the next thing you know, he basically created a fucking sniper. Um, the kid 
the kid was like instantly remorseful once they got him away from him. Like the programming started falling away, but like he was, he had him on like a restricted diet. Like they were eating like crackers and honey. He had him up every day, fucking working out like a full military workout every day. I'm like the, the blue caprice. Yes. Um, like, um, yeah, like he had him like on a full on like boot camp brainwashing situation. Um, and so, yeah, like as soon as they got the kid away from him, like the kid's serving like six consecutive life sentences, they've like, basically he can, there was some weird thing with the law that happened and like he's, he wasn't eligible for parole, but now he is, but he's never getting parole. He's never getting parole. No parole board in the world will ever let that kid out. He's just not going to, um, the, the older dude though, um, he got the death penalty. He's already dead. Um, he's already, he's toast. Lethal injection. Um, yeah. He's, he's, he's gone. Um, but yeah, that's, dude, the Washington sniper thing, like that, that instantly reminded me of that. That, um, that, you know, like, oh, you know, how can you watch out for, I, oh, I can't, I won't get hit. I'm a safe driver. Like, you know, some kid fucking barreling down 151 miles an hour just slams into the back of you. Same shit. Dude, some shit just fucking falls out of the sky into your lap, and it's your time. Like, it's your moment. Fucking shit happens. And yeah, that was, that was immediately popped in my head. I'm like, dude, that was that was a weird moment. Um, <laughs> wither. Wither. Whether he was brainwashed or not, he killed so many people. The guy never pulled the trigger. The older guy never pulled the trigger once. Whether the, the kid is responsible for the deaths of like 10 people. Nobody's ever going to patrol uh, parole him. No way. Dude, his, his first test was some like random person. Like somebody that annoyed the, 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 the older guy, he told him like, he was like, here's a good test for you. The kid walks up to their door, the woman's door, rings the doorbell. She opens the door, he puts a gun in her face and pulls the trigger one time. Just drops her. Just full on headshot. Just, she opens the door and he's just standing there. <laughs> drops her. <laughs> turns around, cl- closes the door, turns around and walks away. That was like the first, that was his test killing. Yeah, it wasn't even a sniper shot. His first shot was up close. Nobody's, no, yeah, I think it was up near Baltimore or something. Text, I don't remember where it was. It wasn't, it wasn't Washington though. It was somewhere else. Yeah, like dude, Wither, nobody's ever letting that kid out. Nobody. No parole board in the fucking world is letting that kid out. (sighs) Oh. Uh, yeah, I think it was, I think it was that Marcus that the the Supreme court said something like you can't, there was a change in case law or something, um, that you can't sentence juveniles to life imprisonment without parole, except in rare cases or some shit like that. Right. Yeah. There was something like that, but people people were like, dude, he's never getting past a parole board. Never. No, he, he instantly, like, for, for real, like, there's pictures of that kid in tears. Um, Here he is after they arrested him. This isn't him being remorseful. This is how old he was. Oh, for those of you. Sorry, for those of you who didn't know. The Washington Snipers. I know this all sounds like crazy white people shit, but it's actually a pair of black dudes. So, you know. Um, 
This one wasn't us. Sorry. Cra- cra- I know, like, some dude going crazy and, like, brainwashing a kid and fucking sniping people at a distance. It just screams crazy white people folks. Like, crazy white people shit. Um, AJ, oh, man, I def assumed white people. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's fuck a couple of black dudes. Um, <laughs> fucking, that does trip up a, lot, a fair few people, actually. Um... Um, so yeah, this is, this is him right after being arrested. He, I mean, he was a baby. He was a baby. Um, he, he has, he, he has described himself, um, later on, um, as scum and a monster. He, he has self-recognition. So yeah, he 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 self describes as quote scum and a monster. So he's aware. He's aware. Um, but <laughs> but when Blackwater mercenaries do it, they get an executive order to be free. Yeah, they get a pardon. They get a presidential pardon. Uh, Zippy, I I argue he probably is very easily reformed. Um, but you're never getting past getting him past a, rep- uh, a, patro- a parole board. Never. The the collective psychic trauma. The people who will decide that parole board hearing were alive and around for the Washington D.C. snipers. You're never getting him past. Never. The, the, the collective psychic trauma to this country. Like I still remember that shit. Do people were afraid to leave their houses? Because if you were anywhere, just sitting, there was one person like sitting, um, sitting, having a cup of coffee, dead, pumping gas, dead, walking down the street. Just, there was one person walking down the street with nobody like around them, dead, just out of nowhere. The, the level of terror, the, the true visceral fear that was instilled in that serial killing was unlike any other. It was real. Trying to fix a split rim. Dead. Like, it, it was... It was a, a level of terror in this country for a moment. For 23 days. For almost a month. Got punk. When I was in that area, I won't lie, I was scared. Yeah. Yeah. It was... It was, he's never getting past a parole board. Never. That kid will die in jail. Or they'll let him out when he's 80. The East Coast was pretty pissed. Yeah. Yeah, there's no... I think he's a prime candidate for rehabilitation. I think he's probably already like three quarters rehabilitated, frankly. I think he probably is an easy case if if there ever was, given that he showed remorse near immediately. Um, but... Is Hassan a fake socialist? I think so. Um, you probably want to go with champagne socialist. He flew a private jet to Coachella. Jesus Christ. You know what? Yeah, just fucking. Yeah, you probably want to go with champagne socialist is your terminology. It'll get you further than fake socialist. Um, <laughs> he flew private plane to Coachella. Jesus Christ, Hassan.
Uh, whether she, I mean, she abandoned him with an abusive maniac in, in, in a, uh, you know, in another country well, while she went to another country. So. <laughs> I like your style, Gemma. I like your style. Oh. Uh. Uh, salons, though, um, a lot are a good thing. Salons are traditionally where a conversation occurs. So, I can't believe you forgot a fucking private dinner to Coachella. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this isn't worth Popo's Bizarre Adventures. This this isn't worth Popo's Bizarre Adventures, but it's worth mentioning. This is hilarious. So apparently the Kent Police Force No, this is fucking the UK. It's it's the UK, Kent. I I guarantee it's fucking it's gotta be the fucking UK based off Yeah, look at the fucking weirdo crown bad shit. It's it's the UK. It's Kent. Um Fucking yeah, the problem solving task force have been working closely with Moat Holmes and Morgan in uh, whatever in Stanhope to help design out crime by removing benches and bushes. The areas have been contributing to high levels of antisocial behavior by providing hiding spots and places to gather. Uh, yeah, by the way, for the uh, for the Americans, if you see antisocial behavior, it's it's the UK. Antisocial behavior is an actual thing you can be like charged with in the UK. Like that's that's a thing for them. What's it? What's it? What's uh, ASBOS, right? Antisocial behavior order or something like that. Yeah, it's an ASBO, I think. Caleb, you ever been hit with an ASBO? <laughs> you're the type to you're the type to get hit with an ASBO, Caleb. Beat you to it, Marcus. I had four ASBOs by fifteen. What did I fucking tell you, motherfuckers? I I know this prick. I've had enough conversations with this motherfucker already. Fucking, I fucking know this motherfucker. If anybody was going to have an ASBO, it was going to be Caleb. Fucking four ASBOs by 15. <laughs> oh. Everything, Caboose. Everything's antisocial by British law. Annoying your neighbors. Like, dude, the stuff you can get an ASBO for. Um. If they have acted in a manner that has caused or was likely to cause harassment, alarm, or distress to one or more persons not of the same household as themselves. 
Okay? You want me to say that again? If an individual acts in a manner that caused or is likely to cause harassment, alarm, or distress to one or more persons not of the same household, you are subject to an ASBO. Yeah. No, it's some bullshit. It really is. Being black while in England. Asbo. Yes. 100% joke. So as long as it's family, we're fine. No, it's, as long as you're in the same uh, domicile tech support. So roommates count as well. Yes. Kuboost is 100% a catch-all. Yes. Uh, my ranting on Discord would get an Asbo. Yeah, it, it actually potentially could. Shots, anyone. I'm buying to Scott Punk. Nice, Scott. Um... Y'all are y'all are special. Y'all are special. Y'all are special. You pay a fine for an ASBO? I dude, I think so, but I think there's also like there's like community service and shit that can come with it. Hang on. Um Oh, here's a lit. Oh Jesus Christ. Here's a list of some of the ASBO stuff. Some of these things are not quite like the others. Okay, here's here's what Asbo can be kicked out for: abandoning a car, arson, begging, dangerous driving, defecating or urinating in public, disturbing the peace, dogging, exhibitionist sex. For for the Americans who don't speak Brit Bonger, dogging is making out or fucking in public. Um, usually in the back of a vehicle, in a park somewhere. Um, drug dealing, drunken behavior, fair evasion, intimidation, littering, loitering, noise pollution. W ready for it? Pedophilic activity, racism, rioting, rudeness. Okay, so you can get an ASBO for banging a little kid or being rude to somebody. Or begging, or smoking in a public place, or spitting, or stealing, or mugging someone, or shoplifting, or urban exploration, or vandalism, or graffiti, which technically blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, ASBOs are um, not readily... Uh... No, um... um, um... I'm just going to go with hater. I'm fucking... Uh, isk uh, uh, isk sack. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm going with hater on your name. Sorry, fucking just for expediency. Um, no, the UK doesn't have freedom of speech. That that's not that's not like they don't have like a constitutional uh, mandate for freedom of speech. They've got for they've got more restrictions on their speech than than a U.S. citizen does. Yes. It's Isaac. I spelled it wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Gibbs. Um, God, that fucking Florida story is still pissing me off, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. I glance over and I just see it in my list. 
but Twitter bans me for my speech. Hey, if you want to be able to deny gay people their fucking wedding cakes, then you gotta have to put up with Twitter banning conservatives. I can be arrested for calling you a cunt on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, fucking A. Wait, wait. Is Wither talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I need more water. I'll be right back. Chair stream. Chair stream. I need more water. Uh, yeah. Uh, YouTube did a thing. There we go.
Zippy, it means you're a Nazi. Confirmed. Zippy's a confirmed Nazi, everyone. Oh, Zippy. Zippy, 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 Zippy. Hey, Rye. Catching him. Zippy's <laughs> Zippy's phone is a Nazi. Zippy is an adorable monkey. Um No, Zippy's a secret Nazi. Samsung, right? Samsung makes Galaxy Zippy. So Samsung or Nazis confirmed. Um. By the way, did anybody hear the ding, the jingle, 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 before I sat down? <laughs> uh, beast, beast. If Beast heard it, Beast know, should know what it is. Okay. Latte did. Uh, Samsung absolutely can suck a fucking ass. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Yes, Beast knows. Oh, fuck it, eh? Uh, I thought it was your headphones. No. No, it was not. Is that the chainmail butt plug? Uh, no, it is. Um, it was the piercing. It was the piercing. Uh, you put bells on yourself and your neighbors know you're home. No. Uh, <laughs> fucking a Viva. Viva. What? What? What channel? What channel? Hippy Dippy. Fucking dude, that dumbass. God, he's fucking just not smart. Figures. So just a whole bunch of shit or to perhaps warn the local wildlife of your presence. Yes. Most assuredly, Gemma. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, I've got, I've got the piercings doubled up. Um, I've got the piercings doubled up. Basically I've got the new larger one and then I've got the old one attached to the, the, the new one to add a little extra weight to, you know, help with the stretching process. Just, just that little extra, right? Just from moment to moment. Oh, Jesus. What are we gonna do for bad movie night tonight? I don't have anything planned. Um, did I not? There we go. We still have no retreat, no surrender to do. Oh, we did four lions. There we go. Which was way depressing at the end. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, dude, it Tucker te Tucker's testicle tanning. Um, we need another one. We need a we need another T. Tucker's testicle tanning. Something. Somebody 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 do the work on that one for me. Streamer privilege. Streamer privilege. Somebody do the work on that one for me. But uh, Tus Tucker's testicle tanning something is not yet um, out. 
We did. We watched No Retreat, No Surrender. Mm. All right. Then I need to move it. Tirade, tripe, tantrum, tantrum, Tucker's testicle tanning tantrum. Yes, tantrum, tantrum. I'm 100% because that whole thing is a fucking men aren't men anymore. Yeah, tantrum. Gem, uh, Gemma, thank you, thank you. Um, fucking uh, t t Tucker's testicle tanning tantrum isn't out yet. Um, hold on, let me check. <laughs> Curtsies. <laughs> um, Tiger Pule, uh, uh, Tiger Pule, uh, thank you for the follow. Either way, uh, yeah, let me check it here really quickly. Uh, Tucker Carlson Originals, there it is. Uh, Tucker Carlson Originals Season 2. Uh, series of long. Yeah, shut up, Tucker. Um, Hungry versus Soros, the fight for survival. Uh, what do we got? Um, see all. This is season one, right? This this feels like season one. Yeah, these are season one. Okay, so he just did the season two pre uh, preview. That's like forty two minutes. Um. Yeah, we're wait we're waiting on the uh, we wait waiting on the uh, release of it. Yeah, uh, e composer, uh, we do actually have a I ha I have an archive. Uh. Um, Caleb, a UV light. That's what I use. It's a UV light, little uh, it's a little dome thing you put your fucking nails into. And the UV cures it. Yeah. 100% that's what that means, Rev. Um, so the first episode... No, that was the last episode of season one. Oh, man. I can't I can't wait for Tucker's... Uh, Tuck, <laughs> Tuck, Tucker's testicle tanning tirade. I, 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 I Dude, I want to see that. It's apparently, it's so gay. It's so gay. It's gayer than fucking three dudes blowing eight dudes. It's, it's super gay. I uh, got to have the right polish for it, though. I mean, all my polish is that... Um. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, get UV curable fucking polish and go from there. Um, dude, Hannity's still on the air. I didn't know that. Fuck Twitch, Teve. Anyway, the fact that you have KKK in your fucking name is a great fu a sign for the level of discourse that will occur there. Um, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Three dudes blowing eight dudes takes some impressive eye, uh, hand eye coordination. Three dudes, uh, uh, the, the original was um, eight dudes blowing nine dudes with a dick left over, right? Like, Fucking, um, but end of men. It's like that, huh? All right, so we're going to kill the audio on this one. I'm going to need a minute. I'm, um, I got some business to take care of. <laughs> uh, just, um, <clears throat> can y'all just look away? Night, Gemma.
God damn it, now I'm looking at Tucker Carlson's name with a fucking heart on. <laughs> that was gay. That was super fucking gay. I'm here for it. <sighs> yeah, that was junk tanning. Just in case, just in case, we'll, we'll, we'll do that, actually. <laughs> Looks like an ad for a porno video. I mean, it kind of is. Uh, we're we're uh, definitely, <laughs> there's, there's going to be a portion of us that when we watch that, we're going to be rocking hard-ons. Like, dude, it's fucking, dude, that fucking, there's some going to be some clips in that, in that thing that we're going to be like, can we watch that part again? <laughs> Tucker's reaching out to expand his audience base. Uh... Don't worry about it. Tucker's obsession with literally nothing pop culture is, is absurd. Yeah. No hairy men, though. Good. Good, boom. Fuck hairy men. Fuck hairy. Fuck hairy everyone. Okay? Lose the fucking body hair already, humans. Fuck. And just, ugh, God. Just, just neck down. Neck down. Every fucking thing. Neck down. No more hair. No more hair. Get rid of it all. Just, just all of it. It's all icky. I don't, I don't like any of the hair. Ugh. Zippy, then go bang a Sasquatch. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Sorry about that, Rev. Send the hairy ones my way. No, they shall be. They shall be lasered and electrolysed. <laughs> yeah, beast. But then my balls will be cold. Just trim, trim up like it's a hedge. No. Um, wow, wow, Yeti. Oh, zippy. All right. Zippy, zippy, zippy. What are we going to do with you? Oh, tomorrow I get back to my workout schedule. Tomorrow I get back to my workout schedule finally. Um, yeah, that's not happening. We'll make that happen. Too prone to ingrowns, personally, though. If I could just delete it all, probably would. Yeah, beast. Yeah, I don't get. Uh, I don't get the ingrowns. Uh, I 
So a bunch of anarchists are here, and some even read books. What a very simplified and not nuanced way of talking about anarchism is really taking uh, consent seriously and everything in life. I tried to do a bit of propaganda as I knew talking about it that way would work, but the whole time I was wondering if I missed a big point. It's super reductive, but it works. Well, Lada, you can make it work. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Just didn't load. There we go. All right. Oh, God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Waxing hurts worse, I'm betting. Um, worse than what? Hmm. Let's smooth slide on smooth. Oil makes it even more fun. Yeah. 100%. Night Puka. Well, I said I don't want to sound authoritarian, but body hair, body hair deserves deserves the gulag and worse. I mean, you're correct. You're correct, hundred percent. Um, but with that, we're gonna call it because we need to one start getting fucking bad movie night. Um, I, dude, I'd get rid of the beard too. Um, I'm going to write over to Squiddy. Um, we need to, yeah, we need to start figuring that shit out. We always take longer than we say we will. So like, yeah, collapse the info store. Uh, I'm going to write over to Squiddy and we'll be in VC. I don't know what we're going to do for bad movie night, but we will. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> poor Aspen. Um, Monday should be normal, back to normal schedule. Next week should be normal schedule, starting with Popo's Bizarre Adventures, and then we're going to do the first installment of um, Gross Old Pedos. We're going to start doing just featuring fucking conservative pedophiles, slowly but surely. Also, we'll start reading Property is Theft next week, and we'll see, we'll see if we can't get Property is Theft done in a single week. It's only five chapters. There's some subsections. There's like three subsections per chapter and shit like that. He writes like an attorney. Dude, Marcus, you'll love Proudhon. He writes like an attorney. Um, so, yeah, we'll see if we can't. We'll see what we can't get done next week. Either way. Um, thanks for dealing with the altered schedule for the last couple of weeks. And see you on VC.